Yeah, the trucker convoy back out it uh, back out on the road on the Capitol Beltway today. D.C. police had to close off a number of streets and exits to make sure that the trucks stayed out of the city, which then caused a lot of backups. Yeah, meanwhile, only on Fox 5, serious concerns tonight with how the police department is handling these protests. Stephanie Ramirez reports from the Southeast Southwest Freeway. Because of anticipated trucker activity this week, we had learned over the weekend that the, some of the security measures put in place ahead of the State of the Union address were extended until at least Wednesday. Well, according to the union, that includes the stationary traffic posts along the city's highways that they are frustrated with. And a lot of us have seen these where by the highway entrance or exit ramps, you see some kind of city DPW truck or a cruiser, an unmarked vehicle with a police member inside. Whether it's active shooters or we deal with riots or we restored order to the Capitol, we do it all. We don't need to come out here and be placed in situations that are unnecessary when there is no actual imminent threat. Last Thursday, D.C. Police Union Shop Steward Adam Chattel sent a letter to D.C. Police Chief Robert Conti calling for an end to these stationary traffic posts, concerned that the members are just sitting there in these 12-hour shifts exposed to unsafe, fast-moving traffic. He says they can be parked safely somewhere else until needed. Chattel wrote in his letter, since the crash, countless CID members have contacted the union expressing fear and concern for their own safety. The shop steward was talking about the double fatal crash with one of these details parked along I-695. This was captured on cell phone video back on March 8th. Two people died after a BMW slammed into a parked city DPW truck sitting behind the officer's vehicle. Now that crash is still under investigation, but the union said that the city truck driver was also severely injured. We did reach out to D.C. police. A spokesperson told me they'd rather talk directly with the union than respond through the media. But I can tell you, I'm talking with the union. They tell me they have not received a response from D.C. leadership ever since they sent that letter last Thursday, so about four days ago. Have you noticed that as everything around you seems to decline, one thing still grows? It is the power of your rulers. None of their plans and directives have solved your problems or made your life better. The only result has been their increased control over you at the cost of your freedom. Do you know why? You gave them the power.